Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. So today we have a Tata Nexon EV. So before moving on to the next one, if you're new to my channel and haven't subscribed, please do consider subscribing. So this car comes with the courtesy of Tata Motors Saras car, which is here in Mysuru Bellal Circle. So if you're looking to buy any kind of Tata vehicle or if you want to check out the Nexon EV, uh, please do go visit them. I have left a link in the description for the address and contact number as well as for the Instagram profile. Please do check it out. So now let's straight away open the bonnet of the vehicle. So this car is obviously powered by an electronic motor which is called as Ziptron. So it produces around 129 bhp and 245 nm of torque, uh, delivering very zippy performance. I can say, you know, it does 0 to 100 in 9.9 seconds, which is really impressive. So Tata may have launched the Tigor EV earlier, but this is the company's first real EV targeted at car buyers and non-taxi operators to make it more appealing. Everything is basically the same as the normal Nexon. It has a lot of things in common. It has the same body, same chassis same bumpers, same grill, everything but you know the engine and the suspension have been tuned in this vehicle. To make it more appealing, it gets a liquid cooled battery pack and a 300 mil range according to ARA optimistic driving cycle which is really impressive. Engineered on the same platform as the standard Nexon, like I said before, the EV uses a permanent magnet motor that puts out a maximum power of 129 bhp and 245 nm of torque. This motor draws power from a 30.2 kW T-shaped battery pack that placed uh, beneath the cabin floor. To accommodate the additional weight of the battery, the suspension have been retuned uh, than the normal Nexon, but components like the damper springs and the brakes are shared with the standard Nexon. Interestingly, the tire has managed to achieve a 50-50 weight distribution at each axle, which is really amazing. And the tires are same size as a standard Nexon. It has a 215-60 R 16-inch alloys, which is really looks very nice. So I'm not going to tell you about more exterior details because I have already reviewed the Nexon before and I have left an iCard right there and I have even left a link in the description for that video. Please do check it out. So like I said, Tata has managed to achieve a 50-50 weight distribution at each axle and the overall cup weight of the Nexon is 1400 kg of the normal Nexon. But a uh, Nexon EV is actually 150 kg heavier than the top spec diesel Nexon which is you know uh, mostly the battery will take up a lot of weight I guess. So in the back you have the badging of Ziptron and EV in the back so that you get to know that it's an EV vehicle not a normal Nexon. So even though this car actually weighs one and a half ton, it's really surprisingly very fast. It does 0 to 109.9 seconds, which is really impressive. And you do have to listen this very carefully. For those who's concerned about the battery's durability and longevity, the pack confirms that an IP67 standard, which means that is water resistant up to one meter, up to 30 minutes. It also has an AIS 48 rating currently the most stringent safety test in India which includes nail penetration up to the cell level, crash test, fire test and more in summary. This EV is likely to be easily sailed through flooded roads without any kind of hassle. It switch off automatically if trapped under water for more than 30 minutes and even uh, take a regular abuse of our road conditions throughout its life without any issues. Tata is also offering an 8 year or 1,60,000 km warranty on the battery pack as well as the electric motor for further to boost the buyer's confidence. Also, you don't have to be scared at all. You have 8 year of warranty and 1,60,000 km for motor and the battery pack which is really impressive. So now let's move on to the inside. You know, what I liked in the vehicle is the leather seats and the softness of the cushion. It's really very nice to sit, sit in the inside. It feels like very premium, you know. Uh, it has a lot of um, space in the front and definitely feels very premium and you do have this piano black finish in the front and you have this blue kind of trim to let you know that you are in the Nexon EV. So the interiors have been uh, same from the normal Nexon, it has been shared the same thing. So now let's move on to the glow box section. So you just have to press a button and it whirls up down automatically without any kinds of uh, power required. So it is cooled as well as uh, illuminated. So if you want to keep some drinks inside, it will definitely be cooled. So now let's get inside the driver's side of the vehicle. You do have the request sensor for the driver's side. So as soon as you unlock the car, the ORVMs, uh, you know, they kind of welcome you and open up automatically without any kind of uh, controls required. So the door design is quite similar to the other side and you do have the controls for the power windows as well as the controls for the ORVMs which is definitely nice. You do have an umbrella holder which is really impressive and will come to the use whenever uh, on the rainy season. So uh, like I said the main point is the seats you know these seats are very nice and it feels very nice to sit inside. Uh, it feels definitely feels very comfortable. So talking about the interiors so the steering wheel is directly borrowed from the Tata Nexon so it does have the piano black finish with flat bottom finish which, which looks uh, really amazing. So on the left side of the steering wheel you have the controls for the infotainment system. So moving on to the right side you have the controls for the uh, to control the MID uh, so which comes in easy you know you don't have to go there and click the button but you can just do it in the steering wheel which is really nice. So on the left side of the steering wheel you have the controls for the wipers so as all the Tata vehicles the wipers work really well. It kind of sprays the water which makes and cleans the windshield very well. So even the back you have a single speed wipers with a washer as well which works very well and cleans up the windshield very nice. 
So on the lace, right side of the steering wheel, you have the controls for uh, the um, headlights as well as the headlight level right there. So I was expecting they would give the LEDs, but it has the normal halogens, uh, which is really nice. So uh, you don't have the separate button for the control, the leveling of the headlights, you get it right there. So it's very use, easy to use. So on the right side of the steering uh, wheel, bottom side, you have some space to keep some stuff uh, like changes, coins or anything. So that comes in handy so you can keep some stuff which is really very nice you know these kind of pockets uh, will be very useful though uh, it doesn't feel like importance now uh, so moving on to the uh, MID system so the MID is now a part a digital which is color display that gives out information like state of charge projected battery range as well as the moving graph or displaying for usage versus regeneration a lot of graphics have been used inside which looks really cool and as soon as you turn on the vehicle so the cool nexon icon comes in the front which looks really good and you have a lot of information inside the display uh, you know how much power has been supplying to the wheels and a lot of other options so as you change the gears uh, you know it kind of revolves around which is which looks really very nice so as you change for the sport mode uh, the old mid turns into the, the red uh, red version like this which looks really cool uh, honestly so like i said a blue highlight similar to the ones outside the lend freshness to the dashboard design which looks really good so moving on to the infotainment system it has this 7.0 inch infotainment system which is uh, completely nice and uh, it's not a laggy or anything you can control the air conditioning right there without any kind of hassle or uh, any kind of a lags it does have the reverse camera which is uh, really nice and also all variants also get 35 new app based connectivity features for vehicle security location based services remote commands alerts and more so you've got a three ways to control the air conditioning system one is the way i'm doing right now i can just go into the screen and uh, choose whatever the mode i want other one is uh, by voice command which is really nice and you have you can use the manual buttons to control the air conditioning so you have a three ways so it does have the apple carplay android auto and uh, app connectivity which is really nice it does have the brightness control system just like a smartphone it is not a laggy at all uh, it, it's it's very nice you know it feels like i'm operating a mobile phone it doesn't feel like it's a uh, laggy old touch screen system uh, so that's very impressive so like i said it does have the blue highlights which looks really good and only for the nexon ev it gets the blue highlights so you do have the controls for the buttons for uh, the uh, you know infotainment system for a volume button home button uh, seek uh, volume and all of those things so moving on to the bottom of that, you have the controls for the air conditioning system. So it doesn't have a separate screen, but it does. Uh, whenever you change the uh, temperature or anything, so it just displays in the infotainment system as you do. So you know it's very nice for what Tata have done. So it does have the controls for the fog lamps, uh, lock and unlock button, and for the uh, you know rear boot. Uh, so moving on to the bottom side, you do have the 12 volt charger to ch charge on uh, phones and tablets. You do have a front uh, single cup holder so it does have this kind of a rotary style gear selector which looks really cool and it does respond very quickly and it is eliminated so at night you don't have to worry about uh, you know not seeing it so there is a lot of cup holders and space inside the nexon to give a lot of your stuff which is really very impressive and very nice so in the center you do, you do have the uh, armrest with this uh, leather wrap too and there is a minimal amount of space inside so you do have the handbrake which is wrapped up in leather again which looks really good so now let's move on to the top side it does have the sun blinds uh, but doesn't have the mirror on it like all the other vehicles it does have the rock uh, you know document holder so moving on to the center you do you do have the led dome lights like all the tata vehicles so the passenger does get the mirrors which is really very nice so moving on to the sunroof section so the sunroof doesn't really feel very small compared to the size of the vehicle it's very nice and it's power operated and as well as it's very simple to operate which is really nice just press the button it opens up just press the button it closes up and just press the button it rises up which is really very cool and it's very easy or and a simple way to use it so now let's get inside the back seat of the nexon so the door design is quite similar to the front it has the same piano black and the leather finish which looks really good so uh, the ingress and egress is really good and the head support thigh support is all just amazing so i'm not kidding when i say this it has the you know softest material for the seats which have been used it feels really very nice to sit back inside you know it's very soft and you know like cushiony thing i felt really good uh, sitting on the back seat so it does have the center armrest which is wrapped up in complete leather and it does have the two, two cup holders which is really nice and also the aux input and the rear air conditioning blower controls have been uh, installed however almost everyone will appreciate the eight speaker arman sound system which sounds very good so now let's get behind the wheels of the nexon and see how how the car drives and do 0 to 100 acceleration test So driving the Tata Nexon EV now, 
so the initial impressions of the vehicle is power it is very powerful when you stomp the accelerator on the sport mode and the burst of power is so strong that the front wheels often struggle for traction so no matter how many times i say it's powerful unless and until you experience it by yourself you'll really be amazed when you experience it so the initial impressions are really good a tap on the accelerator like i said delivers a strong surge of power and what's nice is that torque doesn't come in big unregulated rush no like i said initial responses are very wonderfully linear a slight increase in pedal position is metered and then progression in traffic is very smooth and jerk free this means the nexon ev darts into traffic gaps effortlessly and there is no more enough urge for everyday driving and to unlock more power you have to you know rotate the selector dial clockwise and select sport here the acceleration is stronger by almost 30 to 40% and the responses feel a lit, lot more aggressive to stomp the accelerator and the burst of power is so strong like i said it is very exciting to drive the nexon ev and the performance however is very strong so i did do the 0 to 100 acceleration so according to tata what they have told us so it takes around 9.9 seconds for to reach a 0 to 100 but when i tested it, it went around 8.9 seconds which is really crazy and amazing or whatever it is So at last I like to say thank you for Mr Medappa for letting me know all the features of the vehicle and a very special thanks for Mr Simukodappa sir for letting me borrow the vehicle for the review Thank you so much for watching please do like share and don't forget to subscribe